Oh my god. I just had like pain in my jaw. <laughs> What's up, P Nation? Today we are in Kosice, Slovakia, and we are going on a food tour. So, we're excited to look at the differences between Slovakian food and the rest of this Eastern European mm -hmm. region, just because, like, in their own ways, because they were all part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, a lot of the food is very similar. Mm -hmm. But today we're looking at a few key Slovakian dishes that should highlight the differences between Slovakian food and the rest of the European area. Okay, so the place we're trying now is called Halushkin and they serve halushka, which is apparently Slovakia's like dish. It's the national dish of Slovakia and it's pretty much like, it's kind of like a gnocchi, but it's potato and it's smaller. Which I guess gnocchi is potato. So it's kind of like gnocchi, but it's really small and they're just these really small dumplings that they serve with lots of cheese and usually bacon and it's really good. And I just want to say this town square is super lively as you can see behind me There's a train and yesterday we were walking around and there were all these weddings going on There's actually a couple wedding parties that took the train around the town square There's just like there's like tourists and locals and all these people from the villages are coming in on the weekend It's really a cool place to be on the weekend Since Halushka is like the dish of Slovakia, a lot of restaurants serve it. However, this restaurant only serves Halushka So of course we're getting it here. Can we? Oh. Yes Man, oh man, it smells really good. So like we were saying, they're pretty much just dumplings, but they're really, really tiny, and they're like boiled, and then they put like cabbage and bacon. This is a spinach flavor, and it's got like a bunch of like really, really, really rich cream and cheese on top, and it is just such a crazy combination. But not really. It's like pure comfort food, and it is just so. Good. So I can't tell a lie. We were here yesterday, and we got this, and I just fell in love with it. It kind of tastes like a pizza. I don't know how. I think it's like the spinach flavor. They must have like different types of herbs in there too. But the sauce is like it's cream sauce, but it like tastes like cheese. And then the sharp sheep cheese they have on top just brings it all around into like pizza flavor mode, and it is so good. Plus it's green, which makes me think it's healthy. So I got the sauerkraut and bacon halushka, and I'm curious to see what this tastes like. I'm expecting pasta, but I'm just, I don't know. It's like a vinegary sauerkraut, and the bacon is like, tastes like morning time, like morning at my grandmother's house. So it's like, Morning meets, I don't even know, like a German restaurant. No, this isn't German, it's sauerkraut, it could be anywhere. It's really, really different. It's like vinegar, bacon. Whew, okay, we are just getting started. That like barely even put a drop in my stomach. Really? Yeah. I'm wow. gonna be eating a lot today. <laughs> So where's, what are we looking for next? We're looking for a combination of things. We're looking for sauerkraut soup, we are looking for potato pancakes, we're looking for lots of potato, cabbage type dishes. Yes, super starchy here. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. 
I like kind of like darker tasting beers and although it seems very light it has kind of like a darker like an amber ale kind of taste to it this is actually much better than I expected it to be no offense to Slovakia and Burgess I just haven't had a beer in a really long time so this is really really good so now we have Domaka Koblasa. I probably way butchered that. But pretty much it's a homemade pork sausage that's flavored with a lot of paprika and it's served with mustard and horseradish and some vegetables, mostly peppers. A little mustard dip. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. That is delicious. The outside has like a really crispy skin. And it, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to be baked, so that might be why. The inside is like really juicy sausage. And it's got a good paprika flavor and maybe some like onion and some garlic. That is some really good pork sausage. And I love this restaurant, how the tables are gigantic or like sitting on bench seating. Like this could fit four people easily. We need to bring this type of seating to America. It's like super comfortable. You're lounging. Anyways. Now I'm trying this local sheep cheese that's fried. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like super pungent. It's like, it doesn't taste like blue cheese, but the like punch that you get from blue cheese is in this thing. That is crazy. I was expecting like a very subtle mozzarella stick. It's not the case. It's super creamy and it's not like sharp cheddar. It really is its own flavor, kind of like blue cheese is its own flavor. It's very interesting. Whew, second course was interesting. It was. <laughs> we like sausage. We're not the biggest fan, mm -hmm. and we're not the biggest fan of mustard or horseradish. So that was a real test for Zach, and I think he did very well. Thank I was you. feeding him mustard. That's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be in the culture. <laughs> Anyways, next we are going to try and find. We're trying to find sauerkraut soup, which that sounds not very good. But apparently it's like the thing to get here. The thing to get here. Soup. And we cannot find it on any menus. Yeah. And I had this whole list of everything we were going to get. Scott, her and book. Like where to get it and how much it was. And all the menus changed. So now we're kind of scrambling to like find what we we're trying to find. But we don't know where to get. Okay, and we walked down the street a little bit and we made it to our third and final restaurant. What are we getting? We found everything. We got the sauerkraut soup. We're getting like a, a chicken something. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like chicken schnitzel, I think. Because it's like, I don't know, apparently schnitzel was made in Vienna. And mm -hmm. we're, I mean, Slovakia's right like next to Vienna. Austria, and, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 sorry. And then we're getting potato pancakes. And I can't even say it. I'm not even gonna say it until it comes out because it's so exciting. Okay, I'll say it. It's french fries with more fried cheese and tartar sauce. It's been the one thing that Leah's been looking for the entire time we've been here and she cannot find it. So if she's I a little excited like and stumbling over her words right now, that's why. I am so excited. I feel like, what's, what's the Canadian version? Poutine. I, I feel like this is the Slovakian poutine. Except it doesn't have gravy on it, but we'll just look past it. Tartar sauce. Yes. Again, we have no idea what we ordered here, but this is a star of ramen, 12 degree, big cup. You know, I'm not really understanding the phone. It's just gonna get like all up on my face. It's good. It's not as good as the last one. So sauerkraut soup. I like sauerkraut, so I'm having like I have a lot of hope for this. I just had like pain in my jaw. <laughs> it's so vinegary and peppery. And I feel like it has a very strong paprika flavor. It definitely tastes like sauerkraut, but like saltier. Pungent, but it's a perfume. It would be Axe Body Spray. So it's very, very interesting. But they did give us like a half loaf of thick bread. So maybe <laughs> this will make it better. Okay, so I'm not really sure what we're even looking at here. It looks like we have a piece of chicken that's been pounded out that has more of the like paprika sausage that we ate earlier, plus melted cheese, but it kind of like brie cheese. Maybe it's like Cambert cheese. Not that we're cheese experts at all, but it has like the rind on it. I don't even know. 
the chicken has really taken on the flavor of the sausage. There's a lot of paprika, onion, garlic. It pretty much like has absorbed those flavors. But the, the cheese, and we're not sure what kind of cheese it is, it has a nice complement to the sausage, which I'm surprised they don't serve the sausage with this kind of cheese normally. And they usually they put it with like mustard and horseradish, but it's a nice compliment. This is really good. We thought we were getting schnitzel, like like a fried piece of chicken, but this is a nice surprise. And we didn't even order this for the chicken. We ordered it for the potato pancakes because that's really Slovakian. So a nice surprise all around. So at my house, my parents would make potato pancakes, or my dad would, in the morning after we would have like mashed potatoes for dinner. We'd have leftover mashed potatoes, and then he would like put mashed potatoes in a bowl, flatten it out, put it on a griddle, fry it up for breakfast. So that's what I'm thinking when I'm thinking potato pancakes. So let's try this. That is so tasty. That is better than the chicken. It's like, imagine a french fry, that instead of just potato inside, it's like herbs, and garlic, and onion, and spices, mushed into a bowl, and then probably like deep fried. <laughs> It is so good. It's so crispy on the outside. It's gooey on the inside. It has so much good flavor. Yeah, this is really, really good. So Zach was saying that he didn't really like understand the whole like craze about this. I get it. It is just like mozzarella cheese. It's french fries. And peppery tartar sauce. And I know like, you know how we usually have ketchup with french fries and like a lot of other like countries use mayonnaise? It's pretty much that with delicious mozzarella stick on top. How can you not love that? This is a wonderful combination. I completely 100% understand it. It is so good. that last place I am so full what about yeah, you very very full. <laughs> we didn't even eat everything on our plate which normally we do so I think my favorite thing was the first thing we ate the halushka because it's like everything you want comfort food to be it's dumplings and cream mm -hmm. and cheese and it's just so good and the spinach one especially honestly it tasted like a pizza like it was so good it was hard to explain in the moment, but it was so very good, and I just, I wish I could have that every day. Yeah, I think my favorite was the sauerkraut soup, because really? it was so pungent, I really like pungent flavors. <laughs> I used to drink like a little shot of apple cider vinegar each day, as like a diet thing, and then I had to stop, because I was looking forward to that shot every day, because yeah, it tasted so good. good. Yeah, I just like pungent <laughs> flavors. But yeah, I'm this not a big fan of vinegar, <laughs> I can't say this. <laughs> this food tour has been very interesting and nothing like we've ever had before. Yeah. Slovakian food very is different. very different. Yes, it's been a very good in, like informational food tour for us. So then we could just determine like what is Slovakian food compared to the other Eastern European yeah. countries. Yeah, we like it. So if you ever come to Slovakia, you should definitely check it out. <laughs> Ooh, this bench is interesting. I know. What's up, P Nation? Today we are in Kosice. Kos. Kosice.